this is about the proper grazing of a eastern gamma clump see this clump uh, here is you know, it's probably 10 by 12 there's five or six clumps this was as tall as these seed heads I want to put the cattle in here so it was about four to five feet tall and that was one of the first things they went for you can see like that plant there they've taken that down to about 20 inches and I'm gonna leave them in here overnight there's lots of other grass but uh, so they may take that a little more but ideally if this was all gamma I would, eastern gamma I would get them out of here right now while they're still just you know a nice density of leaves I got a few of these taller leaves like this coming up it's coming up around the stems but this plant had seed heads on it which they have you know by bumping they have knocked some of them off they look like little uh, feed pellets is what they look like they have to freeze once in order to regrow and they're designed to be kept very wet and moist so they lay in the soil in the fall and they get froze and then they embed down and they make you another plant so cattle are very content they followed me around a little bit here just because they could just because they want to and, uh, there's old Cody Bull and he seems to be interested in my Amish neighbor's milk cow she's a Normandy brown or Normandy Jersey is what he says but she looks more like a brown Swiss but she's here because she needs to see Mr. Bull she's here for a visit so anyways eastern gamma grass um, we have uh, eight acres of eastern gamma and my son used to bail that up and feed hay down here and that's how it got started on this farm but as we continue with our long rest periods our you know 60 and 90 and even more rest periods we get it more eastern gamma and it has just rained off and on all week we've had uh, over four inches now i think right. it's raining you can hear it right now on the on the roof of the Kubota and uh, i didn't think these cattle would need move tonight and i was right they, they come to me just because they know that's what i normally do when i come down so um Yeah, the eastern gamma grass. I'd like to have several fields mixed in of that stuff. Good stuff. Wish you were having this good a day. Natural grandma. Uh, we'll see you this weekend at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy in Hannibal, Missouri, the Homesteading Life Conference. Lots of cool speakers. I'd be out of breath if I named them all. These are the people that are serious now about uh, getting disconnected from the society that's coming. So, Warm season grass, uh, a little bit of that on your homestead would be a good way to disconnect. Grow some summer annual, uh, bi biannual, semi-annual, semi whatever. They, you know, you don't plant it every year, whatever that is. You agronomists know what I'm trying to say. Papa Hank. Good day.